Hi guys, welcome back to Charmin's Kitchen. I want to say a pleasant good evening to each and every one of you. Happy, happy Monday. I wish you guys a happy start of the week. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, I would like to welcome you to my channel. Today I have a request for baji rice. And this is not a Guyanese dish, but I like to try new dishes and I love food. So I'm gonna be making it for the first time, but I promise you it's a delicious, nutritious recipe. Our one sister Donna from the US requested for baji rice. I just went to my garden and I picked a little basket of fresh ingredients that I'm gonna be using for my baji rice today. I have uh, some additional ingredients to add to the dish but I'll just show you my fresh ingredients now and I'll show you the rest of the ingredients later. So come on down, enjoy this recipe. And if you know of bhaji rice before, let me know what is your favorite meat that you like with it. It can go vegetarian style. It can also go with pigtail and it can go with salted fish. So today my version is gonna be the salted fish and I'm making some fried gray snapper and some ripe plantain. So I'm making the bhaji rice with a twist, a little bit of a Guyanese hint in there. So come on down guys and let's get cooking. So here is that little basket of freshness. For our bhaji rice, we will need some fresh thyme, dried thyme will work as well. I have here some celery or flat leaf parsley freshly picked from my garden. We need that for this bhaji rice. And it, bhaji rice goes well with the chow rai bhaji or um, it's also known as Jamaican kalu. You can also make this dish with edo leaf bhaji as well, but I don't have any edo leaf bhaji at the moment. So I'm gonna use the chow rai bhaji from my garden, freshly picked. A nice bundle and then I also pick myself some fresh green onions so we're gonna add all that beautiful fresh ingredients to our bhaji rice today next I have a piece of salted cod boiling in some water here this is what I'm gonna be using for the bhaji rice, I already washed the salt out before I add it to the water. And this is the second time I'm boiling it because I want to get out as much salt as I can. So I'm gonna continue back with the ingredients but just wanted to show how I'm preparing the salted cod for this dish. A little piece will go a long way because I'm also um, gonna be frying some gray snapper to eat on top of the bhaji rice. So I'm going to be adding some okra as well and I, I'm looking for the young ones so I pick out some from what I had. I'm taking the heads and the bottom off. I'm just going to cut it back into like three pieces before I add it to the dish. So this is what I'm doing. You can add it them whole if you like. But for this dish, you want the okra to cook and melt away in the dish. So guys, I'm gonna show you some of the fresh ingredients that we will be adding to this dish. So here I have some mariburi pepper. These ones are frozen though. I have one large onion. I have some headless green onions from my garden. I have here the fine thyme, the flat leaf parsley or the celery. I'm gonna be adding some broad leaf thyme. I have two very large cloves of garlic and I have here some married man pork, which is uh, similar to basil, but it have a very nice pungent flavor. Just smell this. Mm. Nice, eh? Yeah. So I'm going to tell you guys how I get this marred mampo. One of my viewer and a very good person 
came all the way from Scarborough on the weekend and he dropped me off two plants of married man pork and it's the real thing from Guyana that rich very pungent smell after right after this I'm gonna show you guys a picture of uh, this good nice viewer who came all the way here to bring this plant for me so I want to say Dave if you're watching Dave Sokram I want to give you a shout out thank you so much for your kindness and for bringing that married man pork plant for me so I'm gonna cut all these up we're gonna come back and show you guys the next step so guys I just want to share this video with you guys one of my very good viewer and subscriber drove all the way from Scarborough to bring me a married man pork plant so all those who wonder what the plant look like the married man pork which is a basil family this is what it looks like it's well known in Guyana for its very very high scent and flavor and this is really good with cook up rice um, black pudding white pudding to season meat and the flavor is amazing it's very stronger than the basil that we have here and it have a very unique flavor so I want to say thanks to Dave Sokram who drove all the way from Scarborough to bring me this plant I really do appreciate it and I want to say a huge thank you to you I'm gonna make good use of this plant so just wanted to share with you guys this beautiful married man pork plant so right after this I'm gonna show a picture of our friend Dave Sokram who was nice enough to come all the way here today so thank you Dave So here I have all my beautiful ingredients ready to start putting our bhaji rice together. I have my charai bhaji, my salted uh, codfish that I'm using, I have my brown rice already washed and I have my coconut milk, fresh coconut milk here. So I'm going to start the stove and let's start building flavor now so in the pot I have about two teaspoons of oil I'm gonna add my freshly chopped onion we're gonna cook the onion until it's nice and translucent before we add any other ingredients to the pot so our onion has been cooking up for a little. We don't want it to burn. So now we're gonna add our garlic. I'm gonna go in with the garlic, some of the broad leaf or thick leaf thyme. And I'm gonna add my pepper in here right now. So we're building flavor as we go along and this smells so nice i'm gonna add my salted cod so it can cook with some of these ingredients and like i said before this dish goes well with pig tail as well but I don't eat pork, so I'm using salted fish. So now we're gonna add flat leaf, parsley, or celery. And this dish can be done in a vegetarian version without any fish or any kind of meat. But it's well known to um, be cooked with salted meat or salted fish. This really smells nice and the salted fish looks so beautiful like you can eat it the way it is. 
So the next thing I'm going to add now is my rice. And I have my rice already washed. I'm using brown rice. All the measurements will be in the description below. So we're going to mix this rice in with all that beautiful ingredients. And it is looking good. So we have to continue building flavor while the rice is cooking up. I'm going to add my fine thyme. And I'm going to add in here now my pumpkin. You can add any vegetable of your choice in this dish. And it will be a wonderful dish for all my Trinidadian friends who are watching. Let me know if I did well with this dish because I know the bhaji rice is a Trinidadian dish. So I added my carrot. And we're going to mix. And I'm going to add my okra. And it really smells nice and looks beautiful. And what we're going to do now, we're going to add our married man poke. Or basil if you have if you don't you can certainly leave it out but this gives a very beautiful flavor and enhance this dish because this is a dish similar to cook up rice except we're not adding any peas or beans to this dish so now I really love that smell of the marad mampo since the rice is sticking to the bottom we're gonna start adding our coconut milk so i have in the um in my measuring cup here three cups of liquid this is some freshly squeezed coconut milk with some water and that's not gonna be enough so we will add a little bit more because we have to cook the rice until it is nice and soft. So I'm gonna go in with another two cups of water and we're gonna cover this down and leave it until the rice grains are nice and soft. If not, we're gonna be adding some more water So another two cups of water. And now we will put in our chow rai bhaji. And this dish is called bhaji rice for a reason because you have to see the bhaji or in the dish or the spinach when it's done. So you have to make sure that you get a good amount of spinach in there or bhaji. And that's what makes the dish special. So I'm not adding any salt because I added the salted cod. But what I'm going to do the next time when I come back to turn this, I will be adding some salt and black pepper. But I want it to cook up a little bit before I add any other ingredients. So let's check on our bhaji rice. Ta-da! Wow. Nice, nice, nice. So I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to taste it to see if it have a lot of salt from that salt fish. But we can see our bhaji in there. And I'm gonna be adding some salt. So I'm just grabbing a little spoon. And we, we have to add salt. It tastes like there's no salt at all. So I'm gonna be adding a teaspoon and a half of salt and then I'll let that cook and maybe if I have to add more I'll add again. I'm, 
I'm gonna add some black pepper and I still have my green onions to add so a nice amount of black pepper let me mix this in with the salt and so we're gonna add now that we mix in our black pepper and salt we're gonna add our green onions and we're gonna let this cook now until the rice is nice and soft and then our baji rice will be done soon. I'm gonna start working on my fried gray snapper. Our dish is nicely coming together. So I have some beautiful gray snapper pieces here. I'm gonna season this, some salt. I will leave all the measurement in the description below. I'm gonna add some freshly ground black pepper, a nice portion. So we can taste that flavor and fish doesn't need a lot because it tends to observe all your ingredients quickly we're gonna add a pack of saison and this is gonna add flavor plus color this is optional you can leave it out if you don't like saison and we're gonna add some of my green seasoning. I'm going in with about three tablespoons of green seasoning. And I'm gonna mix this with my hands because I find the flavor is better when you go in with your hands. Get to mix all that green seasoning and saison on every part of the fish. So the next thing I'm gonna do here now is start frying. So guys, our baji rice is coming close to the finish. The rice look like it wants a little bit more of cooking, not too much, but if you look here, I just added a little bit of cook up seasoning because I know that's gonna add some extra flavor and I'm just mixing that in now. It's also optional, you don't have to add it, but um, you can taste and add whatever ingredients you like. So this dish is served on the wetter side, not too dry. It smells beautiful, like I can't even explain it and I'm really excited to dig in so i'm just gonna cover it down on very low heat for another five minutes or so and then this is gonna be ready i see some of the okra still intact so another five minutes this is gonna be good so now i'm frying the fish i'm gonna slightly dust the fish and this is one easy way i figure out how to do it you just roll it in shake out all the excess flour and then now I'm gonna put it into the oil I'm gonna fry four pieces at a time so they have enough room to cook and then once they're brown on all sides I'm gonna take them out so here it is my beautiful looking delicious baji rice for all those who never had it before it's not a Guyanese dish, um, it's a Trinidadian dish, so all my Trini friends, please let me know if I did a good job. And this dish is requested by our one and only sister Donna from the US. We have a Donna from Canada as well, but this is our sister Donna from the US. She requested that I make this baji rice, fried fish, and the fish have this nice rich dark color because i added some saison and some she requested that i fry some ripe plantain so sister donna just as you requested i made made it for you so come on down and i do have your favorite drink mobby to go with it so i'm gonna dish out my portion now and we're gonna have our dinner for all my friends who like this dish, come on down and let us have our dinner. 
So here it is guys, the beautiful baji rice as requested from our sister Donna. Fried ripe plantain and fried fish. I also have some salted cod fish in the baji rice and some fresh picked cucumber from my garden. Before I do my taste test, I have a birthday request. We would like to send out happy birthday greetings going out to Nalicia Sabir from your loving husband, Darrell Sabir. So from behalf of myself and my YouTube family, Nalicia, we would like to wish you a blessed, happy, happy birthday. We hope you had a wonderful day. So now I'm gonna dig in for all my friends, for all my viewers and all my subscribers. Let's dig in for this baji rice. It is really, really hot. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely delicious. The baji is melted in and the flavor is so, you can taste freshness in this dish. I'm gonna take another bite, oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. And this is the first time I ever make this dish. I'm so glad that our sister Donna requested this dish because one, it is packed with nutrients, with the okra, pumpkin, carrots, bhaji, and all that fresh goodness. And plus we're eating it with some fish and plantain. So I wanna go in for the fish for you guys. I added the Cezanne so the color look a little, um, like really, really brown, but look how nice is the inside. I'm gonna take a nice big bite here. And this is the gray snapper. I love fried fish. Mm. You can taste that green seasoning in there. And the fish inside is so juicy and moist. On the outside have that nice crusty kind of flavor. Mm -mm -mm. So delicious, the perfect pair. And now, I have to go in for a piece of my ripe plantain because I can't eat everything and don't eat the plantain for our sister. And I forget to pour myself out the mabi, but I will do after this. So, cheers. Mm -mm -mm. If you never had baji rice before, please give it a try. It's a delicious, nutritious meal. I cook it with brown rice, so it's even better. And I wanna say to you guys, if you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you'll consider doing so soon. Until then, I wanna say, stay blessed, stay safe, bye for now.